Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Grassroots Weekender Show. I'm Mal Lee, your host for this evening. And as they say, every other evening, hope everyone's keeping fine out there and, well, you keep yourselves rather busy because um, we're still in lockdown. The weather's changed for the worst. We've got some rain, but hey-ho, at least that will be keeping a lot more people in because what I saw last week when I was going to work was just unreal. Well, when I say last week, Monday, um, driving into Warrington and I couldn't believe the amount of people, the amount of traffic on the roads, on the sidewalks, I couldn't believe it. It was a nice warm day, it was the last day forecast and maybe that's why people wanted to be out, do a little bit more exercise, shopping, I don't know but it didn't look like that to me. People were in social distancing, they were in groups to be honest, it was like it was all over and the reports and what I saw on social media as well, people were just out and about and sunning themselves, tanning themselves as if coronavirus does not exist. Well, unfortunately it does, so we need to stay home and stay safe. And this weather, looking out at it, yeah, this is what we need, I suppose, to make sure that lockdown is adhered to because we want to get back to normality as we soon as we possibly can please so folks out there please heed all the warnings and just try and do what the government are asking because we don't want a second phase of coronavirus it's going down slightly at least we can be safe knowing that but if there's another outbreak where will we be there'll be no jobs there'll be no football there'll be no nothing to, to be honest and we're slowly but surely getting a little bit back in normality but that doesn't mean we can all go out and start playing football in the streets and on the in the parks and whatever and just to apologize as you all know it won't be long now i'm still working from my loft the simple reason i'm working from my loft is because we had lockdown with our community bu um, building so that meant we had to move out as well so i had to transfer all my gear to my loft and to make sure that I can keep everyone a little bit entertained or just keep updating you on little bits of information that we have but obviously there is no information at the moment but as soon as we get some you'll be first to know as well and I know I still bump in to people driving past and stopping and talking to me um, when I'm outside and standing getting some fresh air when is it going to be back Mal have you heard anything <laughs> and obviously not no, I haven't heard anything. Um, we just don't know. Your guess is as good as mine at the moment. But the longer we all stay in and adhere to all these rules and just stick by what the government would tell us, maybe it's sooner rather than later. Well, we're into May already. So happy May Day. May the 1st, everyone. Dear May, doesn't it fly? These days, these months, these hours, these minutes, and especially if you're on lockdown, it must be terrible for you. Because I go out, I'm a key worker, and I can get out and about, and obviously I'm on my way to work uh, this evening for a few days. So, um, yes, this is what it's all about, isn't it? I'm a care assistant, so we need to get out and about and keep the country going ourselves. But uh, believe me, if we're on lockdown and I was not in that kind of job, I'd be staying in myself. Um, and that's why I'm saying to you, I see people when I'm out and about because I'm allowed to be out and about. Academy badge, academy letter, uh, for what it's worth at the moment because uh, I've not been stopped and I wouldn't expect to be stopped because there's that many cars on the road that I see. So um, you can understand where I'm coming from. Yes, well... Happy birthday for yesterday for Captain Tom, Colonel Captain Tom, and it'll be Sir Colonel Captain Tom soon, won't it? Um, raising over £30 million for the NHS. Uh, well done for all the work that you have done. And um, number one, would you'll never walk alone. And not thinking against Captain or Colonel Captain Tom whatsoever. But Michael Ball, I'm sorry, I think you should have had Jerry Marsden doing that one with Captain Tom. Um, it just didn't have the oomph to it. And I know it's a record for charity, and I'm not because I'm a Liverpoolian. It's not, you know, because be honest, everyone out there, your version of that song, please, please, if you're going to get Captain Tom involved in it, make it a little bit better. 
than what Michael Ball did. I'm sorry, Michael Ball, you've got big fans out there. I'm obviously not a fan, but I didn't like that version of it, and I'm quite entitled to my opinion, aren't I? Um, there's plenty of other versions out there, and if you're going to involve the NHS, make it super sonic. Okay, you can say it's got to number one, and I think that was just, um, it wasn't Michael Ball fans, I think people just wanted to raise money and make it number one, because it was Colonel Captain Tom, and no one else, for the work that he's been doing. My honest opinion, but, come on, don't slate me for it, it's only my opinion, and I just like, I, I love the songs, I love everything that's going on in social media, everything that we're all getting involved in and the entertainment is just second to none while everyone is on lockdown and when I say the entertainment dear me it's unbelievable at the moment I just love the singing uh, there's an Ali uh, Shamrock I think it is or Shannon whatever it is you may have seen here she's 14 15 now just had her birthday from Ireland what a singer she is unbelievable see loads and loads of posts that's going on there I just think uh, Ali Shannon that's who her name is, Shamrock, okay, because she's from Ireland, but the girl is, you can see she's going to be absolutely massive, and she was entertaining everyone on the streets, but you can see with her singing is just unbelievable. Have a little look at her, and tell me what you think, but what I'm hearing, dear me, she's going to be a, a super, super, superstar, and she hasn't been on Britain's Got Talent, and I must admit, Britain's Got Talent has been absolutely fantastic great to have it back and see these people entertain us as well because I love entertainment and that's why I'm not really knocking Michael Ball in that sense you know if you're going to do it I, I love to professional singers I love people get that's why I don't sing because I ruin everything that's my honest opinion and Nathan Bachelor will tell you that when he's heard me sing <clears throat> and he's told me not to give up my day job so I'm not going to um, and if I could sing I'd sing but I'm not going to I'll have a little go, but I know how bad I am. Anyway, massive thanks uh, to the uh, the bin lads. They've um, picked the bins up um, very, very early indeed, 7 o'clock. What time are you up, lads? Uh, we've got to thank you. Dear me, you must be up for 5 o'clock. Um, you don't keep the noise down, though, do you? I must admit. Got me up nice and early, and the reason I get up nice and early is, have you all found out? It's like a free-for-all now. Everyone's up very early getting the bins in and if they're not getting their bins in they're getting someone else's bin in because people are starting to do work that I've noticed in their houses and they need more, one, more than one bin and I'm afraid there's bins being gold missing is it the same by yourselves folks or do you have it safely in your garden locked up well I wonder what is happening next anyway bin men thank you very very much I was up bright and early with half the street as well we were getting their bins in before they go missing, I must admit. So you're doing a fine job. And the postman as well. Well done to all the posties had their day the other day. And they're getting all my bills to me on time. Thank you very much. Dear me. And that's all it is for me. Bills, bills, bills. There's no um, holding back on payments for me because I'm working. It's just coming through. What are you? Yeah, I still do get letters. You can do things online. But you get loads and loads of spam online, don't you? How they get your email and what have you is just beyond me. But whoever gives it out, government, they give it out and people get onto it, don't they? Well, there you go. We have to thank the bin men and the posties. Everyone else, all the key workers, we know that. They're all doing a marvellous job. We know the figures are slightly down. If I'm right on the coronavirus deaths, um, we just want to keep them well down. And as I say earlier on, we can only do that by abiding by the government, government and their laws and their regulations and what they ask us to do. And your councils as well. Let's just work together as a community and I think that's what we're doing from now on because it used to be segregating postcodes. You've heard me talking about this before and I just believe now that communities are getting together. I just don't want to go back to where everything is, oh it's me, 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 me. I don't like that, I hate that. I just love people who wear together and I've said it many times on my show and now to me viewers as well. You may have noticed that I'm on YouTube, DXTL TV from the Touchlands. If you want to go on there and have a little look at uh, some of the shows that I've been doing because it coincides with my podcasting. 
and I've been talking to Keith Hackett. Thank you very much, Keith Hackett, who has um, thrown the gauntlet down for me to have an interview. Yes, we'll do that. We'll do it online very, very soon indeed, because I'm hoping to be back in the office, in the studio, before we know it. So uh, plans are already in place for that one. Um, keeping it all together and start getting the visitors and the guests back in as well. So I'm wishing everyone the best of luck for their business because they're all having a bad time at the moment, especially the hairdressers, the barbers. I can't wait for you guys to be back, I must admit. Uh, and I think everyone's echoing my words there, nodding their heads going, yes, please, dear me, you're going to be busy, but don't put your prices up. No, it's not worth it. People are loyal to you and they'd be loyal still if they were allowed to go to you. So you can't, unless supermarkets, same for the supermarkets, it, if they're making an absolute killing at the moment. They're making a fortune. They're unreal. They're massive profits because people have been panic buying and stocking up. So they're quids in at the moment. So uh, we don't want prices to go up. They can afford to drop the prices a little. And anyone else who's going back to work, being off a while, please don't put your prices up. You know, let the people get back to normal. Give it 12 months before you start having a price increase on everything. And that goes for all the um, energy companies as well. You watch just how many people will throw money. And even your pubs, they'll start throwing 10, 15 pence on a pint because they'll think people are desperate. But they've got to realise, where will they be without their customers? Mm. So it works both ways, folks, doesn't it? And you can pick and choose wherever you go. And if people are looking after you, then you go to them, don't you? And it should be the same for every business. If you look after, you, after your customers, they'll look after you, believe me. And I've been in self-employment enough times to know that myself. And that's the way I work. And I still do trophies. And I still do a discounted price on them. I look after the people who look after me and support me. And that is the best way to be in business, I assure you. Anyway... Let's just hope we're back and up and running very, very quickly, which we will be. And the good news was that I've, uh, I've gained a bit of funding now to get myself some new equipment. So the interviews that I'll be doing online with the likes of Keith Hackett and many other people, because there'll be a lot of guests coming in, will be using top class equipment because I've been in talks with my radio lads and they're assisting me in the best that I could get for the studio because if you've got a good studio you want the good equipment and you want to look after people as well to make sure when our guests come in they'll be well they'll be over the moon what we can offer them and we're looking forward to getting ex professionals in professionals in we're getting celebrities in as many as we possibly can and just watch this space because we're looking forward to really going all quids in basically with DXTL and the grassroots podcast so we're looking forward to making a really really good uh, comeback and we want you to get involved with us we want more people watching us you know I think a lot of people are getting fed up with doing things on social media but the people who are keep it up because it's entertaining a lot more people you are the superstars you're ordinary people forget your celebrity status they're not doing what they do well they are now they're all starting to put on their little shows and because they've realised what you've done in the communities, you've opened their eyes to know there's a new world out there in social media and that's where the people are and you're working to entertain each other. So hats off to you, well done and keep up the great work. And I noticed Tiny Tim, no one's seen Tiny Tim and his um, videos and his wind ups in his calls. He plays a three year old going on six I must admit he's a cracker and he gets people going and he's pretending to be a, a youngster who wants to order fish and chips and you name it, get into football teams, sing and he just winds up all these people in businesses and I think absolutely fantastic. Don't know Sandy Tim how you make a living but I tell you what you're really entertaining, entertaining and I just watched the latest one that you've done where you met a DJ or you phoned up a DJ for some music and I get to book a uh, DJ when the government lockdown is back over, well it's over and I just thought you were amazing and he sussed it out the DJ and asking was Tiny Tim and your laughing was just unreal, it got me, it got you, it got your DJ friend and it's got thousands of watches 
on social media as well. It was hilarious. Keep up the great work, and everyone's going to suss you out. So you'll have to come up with some new material. But hey ho, if they suss you out, carry on going because I think it's hilarious and well done for the entertainment that you've given me and every other viewer out there. I just thought it was magnificent. Well done to Tiny Tim. If you've not seen him, go onto social media and put them in Google, Tiny Tim, and you see all his videos coming up and all his business wind-ups. And you know what, I'm catching up on loads. He's got that many, but it's hilarious all the time, the way he gets people going. And if you do suss him, suss him out, well, he's got the answers for you anyway. He's very, very quick off the draw and he can, he can really get you going, but I guarantee you one thing, you will laugh if you get hold and watch Tiny Tim. Amazing. Keep up the great work. And as I say, all you singers and all you entertainers who are going on social media and giving everyone a laugh, but as some people are saying now, we don't want to see your workouts, buying all your gym equipment and showing people what you're doing because we're not professionals. You could uh, injure yourself one day. We don't want to see that. Either do we on social media. We just want good entertainment. The kids are singing along. The kids are playing football. That's great entertainment. Referees, let's do your little bit as well. Do some refereeing. If the pitch is empty, get out there. Start showing your flags. Start showing you your red cards, your yellow cards. And maybe no one around. Keep them in your pocket and just say, this is the way we want grassroots football when we all get back to it. And for those who are having May Day presentations, North Park JFC, the ones that's done the trophies for, thanks Bill. I know you're going to have a crack because you've got some great trophies coming there. And, well, I know you're just waiting to say what's the go-ahead. But we're all still doing, uh, we've booked up our coaching school for the DXTL um, on the last week of July, which will be the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the last week in August. We penciled them in and we'll give you more information as we get along on that one. And it was chock a block last year and I can see no difference this year. Kids were loving it. They must have gone back to their their coaching, their teams absolutely 100 percent better because our coaches were absolutely fantastic. So we'll we'll give you updated news on that one. But as I say, in the meantime, we're over the moon that you know, in lockdown, GXTL is still moving on. We're talking to referees. We'll have Chris Foyan with Olivia Henderson. Olivia's going to be interviewing Chris Foy soon. And we'll have our young commentators with um, ex-professionals. They're all coming in to interview. We've got them all lined up, all booked up, all just awaiting. And I know they're all on lockdown and nobody can't go anywhere at the moment. And I suppose it's good entertainment if you can get them on camera and what have you but we're waiting for our new equipment to make it that little bit more professional to give you that the better entertainment to be honest and that's what we're looking forward to and we want you to get involved with us please if you do not mind and i'm just hoping that you do or enjoying the new outlook with it you know where um, the dxtl tv from the touch lines on youtube on our station we've got a song on there we're going to have a lot more entertainment and we'll have a lot more interviews coming on DXTL TV and hopefully we'll be back with the grassroots football uh, we'll get in touch with Paul Curtin and obviously we'll work something out together as well because respect is 2021 is going to be a cracker and as I say I can't thank you all enough for getting involved in respect 2020 we know there was no football but we just wanted to bring it home that referees still do matter. We've got to care for them and make sure that they stay in the game for the coming season because it all has been cancelled now. So if you've got any presentations, we wish you luck on them, ones in grassroots football. We know there's going to be plenty of them there and we just hope that you can get a venue and I'm sure you'll get a venue somewhere and just entertain the kids. And I can imagine a lot of people will go, go out to grass um, play a little bit of music if you can get some grass some other parks are open keep them social distancing keep the kids away leave the trophies there I'm sure there'll be a lot of you uh, food for thought doing presentations and just making the kids happy and keep them entertained as well because okay the season finished but I suppose many of them do deserve a little award for turning up and being disappointed that the season didn't end as well. Premier League, let's just hope that gets back to normal ASAP. I can't stand all these people saying now, cancel the season, make it non void. Uh, you know, if you're a football fan, no, no, it can't happen. And I feel sorry for all these 
leagues, the Dutch league, who you know Ajax and Camber, who have lost. You know they worked and worked and worked the socks off, and it's been taken away from them. I think it's wrong. Let's play football behind closed doors. The real football fans will understand what I'm talking about. The ones, the better ones, they want. They just want to see Liverpool lift the Premier League after 30 years. They just want to laugh. And I think at these times, I think it's wrong. You know, it was well worked. It was hard enough football. And that goes for any team who is 25. If Manchester City, if Everton were 25 points clear, I'd say exactly the same thing. Give them the title. No one's going to catch them. OK, mathematically, it's possible that they would. But that means that Man City winning every one of their games. Liverpool not winning any one of their games. That's two teams. Come on. Credit where it's due. Let's be honest. Give Liverpool the title. That's me anyway. Anyway, thank you very, very much indeed. We'll be back again tomorrow at 7pm. So for myself, my lay and all the team here at the Grassroots Football Academy, DXTL, the Respect campaign, and myself basically. Thanks very much to all our listeners. We'll see you tomorrow at 7. Be safe, put your feet up and relax. Good night, God bless.